Hey everyone, this is Will, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at updating the firmware on our iConnectivity interface using Oracle for X-Series. Now, it's super important to make sure you always have the most up-to-date firmware so that you know that your interface has the most recent features available to it. Now, before we even open Oracle for X-Series, the first thing I wanna mention is your particular interface may have multiple USB ports, may have an ethernet connection to it, and you wanna make sure, one, you're using a USB port, and two, that you're using the correct USB port. So for the sake of my Mio XM, I'm not connecting via Ethernet. I'm connecting via the uh, USB port there. And again, if your interface has multiple USB ports, pay attention to any prompts that you see in Oracle for X series, because if you're using the incorrect one, it'll give you a pop up that says, hey, switch to the other port. And it's super, super easy. So there's not really anything you can mess up here. Uh, so just follow the prompts and follow along. So with my interface connected using the correct USB USB port, I'm ready to go. So I've got Oracle for X series open. I'm going to click on the firmware tab here. And there's two really useful features found in the screen. The first thing you'll notice is the current firmware that's loaded on your interface. I happen to be up to date on this interface, which is great. But if you're unsure, you can compare your current firmware version to the latest version on the web to see if it's up to date. Now, the first feature I want to mention here is the ability to load from file. This is a really great feature, particularly if you're out on the road, you're in a venue that doesn't have internet and you happen to have your firmware stored on your computer, stored on a thumb drive, or you're able to go to the hotel, uh, load the firmware on your computer, bring it back to the venue where your interface is and load from there. It's super simple. You can do choose file, find where that is on your particular computer, uh, click the file and hit open and load that firmware on your interface. But let's say you don't have that downloaded. Uh, and another great feature about that is the uh, ability to maybe backtrack to go back a few versions or a previous version if you need a previous version of firmware. Um, but let's say you do have inter internet and let's say you just bought a brand new interface or you have an interface and you plug it in and want to make sure it's uh, got the most recent, most up-to-date firmware. It's really easy to do. We can go to the load latest version from web uh, and you, again, you'll see that mentioned here. Click install and that's going to automatically load your firmware to your device. It's going to say your device is going to reboot. You'll see lights uh, flashing on your interface, particular. You'll see lights flashing on my Mio XM. Once it goes through this entire process and everything gets up to date, then you know that you're going to be ready to go. You see mine just boot right up and we're ready to go. And here in a second, I'll show you Oracle for X series again. Here in a second, you'll see that interface pop back up. There we go. And that means the firmware update was successful and everything is good to go. So if you're just looking to update your device and update your firmware, it's really simple to plug in, make sure you've got the correct port, hit firmware and load from web. So that's a look at updating the firmware on your iConnectivity interface using Oracle for X series. If you have any questions about your particular interface, um, anything that wasn't covered in this video, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity support. We've included information on how to contact them in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.